The baby chicks are coming. The baby chicks are arriving soon, and these are the ones we talked about in the live stream that got delayed due to the weather, and they are now on their way and should be here in a couple days, but we've got to get our brooder built. We have had lots of projects that kind of took priority, and now we're kind of in a mad rush to finish this brooder. So we've got to get the brooder built before they get here, test it out, make sure it can stay warm enough with our cold Wyoming temperatures. We are, we picked up this crate for free at our local feed store and we will be turning this into our turkey slash chicken brooder.
So we did a test of the brooder. This is the brooder with the lid off right now. Um, we did a test with the lid on, the light running, and the insulation on top. And it was only getting to about 88 degrees during the day, which is not quite warm enough for chicks and turkey poults when you first get them. But at night it was also dropping down into the 60s, which isn't horrible, but again, it's not warm enough for them. So what I'm going to try to do is build a box that will enclose the heat more in the middle with openings on the ends for the turkeys and chicks to come out and eat and drink. So that hopefully the idea is that in that smaller box it can contain more of the heat and insulate it better and keep it warmer. So I'm going to get that built and then we're going to test that out because we are running out of time before the chicks arrive. Okay, so here's what I have kind of made up so far. Two little side panels, each have a little door. They're screwed into those braces that are on either side for that extra support. So I'm gonna put the lid back on, put the insulation back on, turn the heat light on, give it several hours, and come see how it's doing. I did my test of seeing how warm the brooder would be inside this middle box. Um, and I found that's not the right temperature. I just put that in there. So, um, but anyways, it actually was a little bit too warm. When I tested it, I had the thermometer, everything closed, and I had insulation over the top of this. And it was reading 108 down at the floor, which is just a little bit too hot for baby chicks. Um, why that says 68 is I had moved it into there to see how warm the sides are without the direct heat. And that should be okay because chicks in a natural setting, they're really only warm under their mom. And they'll still, at just a couple days old, come out, peck around, you know, get some food, get some water, and then they'll go back under mom. So really they just need a warm place. Like they need that area warm, but if it's not as warm as the middle, it's okay. But in order to try to cool the temperature, I put just the lid on without the insulation and it kind of stayed the same heat. So I'm thinking I'll just have to keep a thermometer in there and keep an eye on how the baby chicks are doing. And I'll have to either crack the lid or do something to cool it down a little bit if it's getting too warm in that center section. Um, but as I went through and looked at my videos, I realized that my camera again has been shutting off at times when we're working. And so I did not rec get any of it recorded where we made these lid panels and where we put the actual walls on. So all the walls we made out of this kind of thinner board. You can kind of see what it's called. Um, we bought, these are not gonna hold up forever, but we had already purchased a bunch of these boards for a project at our old place and we've needed to use them up. So I just figured I would use them up this way, get them used, even though maybe it's not the best material for this. But basically we cut chunks of those for all along the sides, the two ends, and then um, we made three different parts for the lids. There we go, three different sections for the lids. So that um, we're gonna be having a divider of chicken wire down the middle of the heated section because in the past when we've bought turkeys with regular chicken chicks, the turkeys have smothered the chicks in the past. So we want to separate that so that we can have a turkey half and a chick, the chicken chicks, I guess technically they're turkey poults and chicken chicks on that side. Um, and so that's why we have these other lids. So this area won't be having direct heat and the food and water will be in there. Um, then this middle section is where we still need to put the chicken wire in. It has the heat lamp coming through and those two little doors that I showed earlier, and this will be where they get their direct heat. We did do a thicker, um, I guess, plywood for this. It's an old piece that we just had around. This is not attached, it's just on there. Um, we drilled a hole so that we could put the lamp cord through it, and then there was a little hanger piece that's attached to the light. And we made it big enough for that piece to poke through and then we ran the bolt through the hanger so that it's pretty secure in there and it's not going to fall off. And then again, this is the other lid. 
with that. And you can kind of see in here, we've got sand in the bottom. We're gonna buy a couple more bags of sand today to fill up the rest of the brooder. This is the first time we've done sand in a brooder, but after doing a lot of reading, I felt like it was the good way to go. By using the sand, we can use like a kitty litter scoop to scoop out the poop that from the chicks. And that way, since this is so heavy, it would be really hard to scrape out and clean everything out multiple times with something this heavy. Whereas the sand, we can just scoop out what is dirty and have clean sand in there for them. So that's kind of a new experiment. But so that's how our brooder has turned out. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get a picture of the chicken wire in it before I need to post this video. But once our turkeys and chicks are here, I will make sure I get a shot of that middle section with the chicken wire here. Eventually when it's warmer, we may need to come up with some kind of chicken wire lid so that they can have, they aren't getting overheated. We also decided to just duct tape. We decided to duct tape all the insulation along the sides. As you can see, that one's coming off. Um, the reason for that is we didn't want the insulation getting damaged by screws and we're not planning on leaving it on all the time. Just right now, we're still getting in the teens at night and thankfully we've been staying up in the 30s during the day. So the insulation is definitely to help keep them warm during this cold period. So that is our DIY. Make your own brooder out of a free pallet crate. Thanks for watching.